Hey KK Wellness, Coach Kayla here. I am going to do a review on the Apple Watch so you guys can make a decision on whether or not an Apple Watch is something that you guys wanna to add to your lifestyle. Um, I do the lifestyle hacks each week and one of my favorite things that I use daily is my Apple Watch. I absolutely love it, I never take it off. I've had a Fitbit and I've had an Apple Watch. Apple Watch is by far my favorite thing. So I'm gonna go through some pros and cons of each and then you guys can make a decision on what you think is the, gonna be the best fit for you and your lifestyle. So pros for the Apple Watch. Obviously, if you have an iPhone, Apple Watch is gonna be a really good fit for you. If you don't have an iPhone, probably not a good fit for you. Um, it is like an extension of your phone. Basically, you can make calls, you can see your text messages, you can even respond to text messages on your, on your watch, which is pretty cool. I also love the fact that when you're doing a workout and you don't wanna grab your phone or if your phone's in a gym bag, you can change the song from your watch. So while you're listening to music during your workout, if you don't like the song, you just go like this, click next, and there you go. So that's a pretty cool feature as well. And in addition to that, it is extremely durable, holds up. I've had this for almost a year now, and it's, you know, almost like new. Super easy to clean. Um, you just wipe off the band, and you can also replace the bands too. So if you want something that is a little bit more fashionable when you're not at the gym, you guys can just slide these bad boys out. It's not going to do it for me right now, but you can slide these out and buy different bands to go with it if you'd like to. Another thing going back to the workouts, um, there's so many exercise options. So with the Fitbit, it's just one workout option. But with Apple Watches, you can you know track your Stairmaster workout or your weightlifting workout or your yoga or your running outside. Love that. And then it shows you your calories, your heart rate, and your time. Absolutely love it. And you can also see all of your data on the Apple Watch app on your phone. Another cool thing is you can change what picture you have on the face of your watch. You can't do that with a Fitbit, at least not that I know of. So I'm gonna go ahead and go through the pros of a Fitbit, and then we'll go through the cons, and then we'll go through the price. So pros of a Fitbit, I had a Fitbit for years. It was a Charge 2 HR, loved it. Um, the only thing, and actually I'll go into that in a second. Um, what is great about this, it's really for people who don't have an iPhone, um, but it allows you con to connect with friends. So something that Apple Watch does not do, it allows you to connect with friends through step challenges. Um, it connects you to Fitness Pal, My Fitness Pal, so you can connect with your friends that way as well. It stays charged longer, it tracks your sleep. I don't think the Apple Watch does that and um, exercise tracking is intuitive. So as soon as you start you know, increasing your heart rate and working out, the Fitbit actually picks that up and it starts your workout for you. It starts tracking your workout. So you don't actually have to go to your workout app on your Apple Watch and start your workout. Um, so that's a little bit different as well, but I think that's because it doesn't have the type of workout feature like the Apple Watch does. So those are the pros of both. Um, cons of the Apple Watch, everything is not streamlined. So yes, you have your workouts, you have your type of workout, you have your calories, your heart rate, all that good stuff, but you don't have your heart rate in your face all the time like you do with your Fitbit. You also don't have your calories burned all day long and you don't have your steps continually going all day long either. So that's something that the Apple Watch does not have. So if you are somebody who loves numbers, love seeing that type of data every single day, all day long. That is something the Fitbit has, the Apple Watch does not. Also, it does not auto start tracking your workout. So like I just touched on a second ago with the Fitbit, you have to actually go to your workout app on your Apple Watch, type or pick the type of workout that you're gonna do and then press start then you can start your work tracking your workout. So if you forget, which sometimes I do, then you lose like whatever, how many minutes you started working out before you started tracking. Um, so if that's gonna annoy you, and if that's something that you are gonna forget to do, that's what the Fitbit does. It intuitively picks up your increase of heart rate and it starts tracking your workouts for you or your activity throughout the day. So another thing that some people are um, frustrated with with the Apple Watch is the constant need to charge it. 
I charge this every single night, just like I charge my phone, not really a big deal to me, but some people could you know, see that as a con. On the flip side with the Fitbit, cons for this, durability. Um, I had three Fitbits in probably a year and a half time. And luckily they sent me free Fitbits in replacement, but the straps always ripped off. The screen got super scratched where I could barely see anything. The quality is just not as good as the Apple Watch. That's just my opinion. Um, but the customer service is great. So that's something that is a plus. Um, pricing. $200 or more. Um, I have the Series 1. Don't really have any issues with the Series 1. I don't, I'm probably going to upgrade soon because I want to. Um, but Series 1 is $200. Fitbit is $150 around there. So it's a little bit cheaper than the Series 1 Apple Watch. Obviously, as you go up in the series for the Apple Watches, they're going to get more expensive because of all of the new features that are included. Um, so it's really up to you. And based on what I just went over with you guys, what is going to you know fit your lifestyle fit your needs i typically love my apple or personally love my apple watch um, but if you're more of somebody who needs those numbers likes that accountability because you can connect to friends and if you don't have an iphone um then apple watch is probably not going to be for you and you want to go with the fitbit all right guys let me know what you think and what you go for if you have an apple watch or if you have a fitbit totally chime in and i will talk to you guys soon